we're back. Howdy all, this is Ethan Von Real playing the full version of Coming Out on Top, and last time we were here, we continued with our tutoring of Brad. We ran into Daisy, who felt like we were muscling in on her tutoring territory, and we got Roman thinking that we were up to something sneaky involving Daisy. This time around, we're going to help Brad wrap up his upcoming paper and create erotic and awkward situations, because that's what you do. Um, it's that kind of game. So, let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> you head over to Brad's place. After nobody answers for a minute, you try the door and find it unlocked. You let yourself in and climb the stairs. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you coming in, man. I've been trying to finish this. Before you can respond, Brad, looking miserable, hands you a yellow legal pad. Oh, you finished your draft. Nice, man. Go easy on me, okay? Aw, he looks a little bit perturbed. You squint at the pad. Is, is this actual handwriting? You're not helping! Oh, I'm sorry, man. I was just trying to calm your nerves. You got a pen? Brad hands you a pen. Be gentle. Aw, you're so sensitive, Brad. Okay, just give me a few minutes here. For the next several minutes, he watches you nervously as you flip through his essay, commenting, underlining, circling, and crossing things out. You hand him back the notepad. Here. There are a couple of comments. There are like a million corrections! Hey, look, they're no big deal, okay? Wow, I suck. No, hey, Brad, you do not suck! Chill the fuck out, nerd. This draft is decent. I mean, it's not as good as anything I would write, but I'm fucking amazing, which is why I'm tutoring you. So, just chill out. We'll hammer this out. Groan. Look, the important thing to know is... Alright, and you got three options here. Um, the correct option is actually... <coughs> well, the most important thing, and I want you to write this down and remember this, commit it to memory, kiddo, is that you're going to be needing to use a good font when you print this out. Like papyrus. Um, nothing says quality writing like papyrus. See, you're gonna turn in the papyrus to your teacher, and she's gonna see it. And she's gonna see how swaggy you are. Alright, so that's actually not the correct answer. Um, the right one is gonna be, your ideas are all over the place. You should be putting your strongest points at the front and end of your essay. You need to start and end with a bang. Although, it would actually be legit amazing if he found some actual goddamn papyrus to write on. Um, and turned it in. I would actually give someone an A automatically if they went through that kind of effort to to make paper themselves. Um, but this is the correct answer. If you give him one of the choices that gives him a not great grade, um, you actually are permanently locked out of his best ending, um, and you will actually not be tutoring him anymore. Um, because don't forget that's why you're here. So you need to get him a good grade. Your ideas are all over the place. You should be putting your strongest points at the front and end of your essay. You need to start and end with a bang. He chews his lips, mulling this over. Yeah, I, s I see what you mean. Kind of like what you were saying last week. Uh, when things got a little weird. Hey, I was, I was just super passionate. But yes. Uh, okay, I guess I'll try to make the changes then. All of my notes may look intimidating, but it'll be easier than you think. I'll explain them to you. God, I don't know. Come on, Melnick, are you afraid of this little paper? I'm just trying to re recuperate from this blow to my ego. But okay, explain away. As you go over your suggestions, Brad's shoulders start to relax and he begins to breathe again. One by one, your patient, clear explanations give him that confidence that he'll be able to fix his writing. Okay, that, that actually doesn't sound too bad. I might be able to do this. Aw, oh, he's smiling again. Good for you. Sure you will. It should take a few hours, but by the end of it, it will be good to go. Damn, I think I've learned more in this hour than all of high school. Alright, so if you can't tell by that blatant lie, um, he is actually starting to flirt with you. Um, and in the last session, if you don't remember, he actually started kind of flirting with you before. So, we're gonna see where this leads. <coughs> uh, really? Too bad I didn't have you around last semester. 
I could have been learning things instead of partying. Getting A's instead of a bunch of D's. Get it? D. Ha ha. Ha. All D's. Super swag, you, you creepo. Stop smiling like that. And a bunch of BJ's. Ah ha 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 ha. Too bad those don't count. You're so fucking funny, Brad. I just want you to shove me in your armpit and smash my head in. You laugh a little too hard. Ah, wow. Well, it sounds like your, your uh, semester was more exciting than mine. Ah, the blowjobs weren't all that. Oh my. Brad, no. Um. Oh god, they warned me at church I would have problems like that. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay, okay. Gotta keep it together. Anyway, they weren't? Sometimes it's all about, uh, <laughs> enthusiasm, uh, yeah? No, there was plenty of enthusiasm. It was my size. Um, oh my, his eyes are almost bulging out of his head there. <clears throat> dot, dot, dot. Oh, sorry, man, now it sounds like I'm bragging. No, uh, not at all. Uh, feel free to continue. You, please go on. Please, 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 please go on. Alright. Well, the thing is, it was a tragedy, dude. My dick is literally so big it has its own gravitational field. The last person who went down on me got crushed into a singularity. And now I exist as the sole witness to their death. It's the burden my cock and I must bear. Oh. My, um, and so it's not that great. And if they want me to, uh, oh man, look, forget it. He straightens up. Cause those wild nights are behind me now, right? You're keeping me focused on school stuff this semester. You now, you nod, your mouth dry. You're glad that you're sitting down. All you can think about is Brad's cock crushing you and every bone in your body into a singularity, ripping a hole into the fabric of space and time, and your butthole. There's no tutor more pro than you, man. Thanks, I, I try to keep it professional. Man, he is still sweating. You shift in your seat. Oh, hey, an email. Brad walks over to his laptop and shakes his head as he clicks on something. Speaking of tutors, this is like the 13th pic Daisy has sent me this week. Turning the laptop towards you, he shows you a pic of Daisy in a g-string, kneeling on her bed, covering her breasts with one arm. Whoa. She's kind of upset you took her job, so she's been trying to get way she's been trying new ways to get my business. Brad notices your discomfort. As his eyes dip down near your crotch, he realize you realize he notices even more. Oh, it's okay if you're turned on. I know she's pretty hot. Okay, so this is how you know he knows what he's doing. He's not hes not a child. He's not ignorant. He's not a fool. He knows that he's hes messing with you here. Um, because I don't know if you know... Okay, actually, I'm going to get into this a little bit later. I'm going to get into this later. I'm going to save that for a, a future video. But I'm going to tell you all a lesson about men real quick then, okay? Anyway, don't worry, though. She's not getting your job. Damn right she's not getting my fucking job. You sit here with your mouth hanging open. He looks at you with a silly grin. I should get to practice. See you next week, man. Uh, okay, just, uh, make those changes tonight and turn that paper in tomorrow. You stumble out of the room. Some pro you are. Good job, Super Swag. You make $60 this session. You now have a total of $110. Alright, so that's this session. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video to our next session with Brad. Uh, keep in mind, he just flirted with us, so we're making some progress here, because this is a game that is a dating sim, so we got to eventually get to the dating part, right? Anyway, BRB, and we're back. Alright, so we went ahead and headed back to Brad's place after our class. Um, nobody's answering, so we're going to go ahead and let ourselves in again. The house is unusually quiet today. Uh, Brad? Come on up, man, I'm in my room. The wise old floorboards creak as you climb the steps. You open the door and peer into the room. It's empty. Where, where, where are you? 
Brad appears out of nowhere, scaring the living shit out of you as he wraps his arm around your neck, putting you into a headlock. It's noogie time, amigo! Who wants a noogie? Who wants a noogie? That's right, you do. Brad begins noogieing you. His knuckles rubbing your head hurts, but his steel cable arms around your neck feel rather nice. You squirm, only to end up shoving your own face right into his armpit. Brad laughs and waves something in front of your freaked out face. You have no alternative, or alternative but to look at a paper. You see a red 88 scrawled at the top of it. Holy crap, dude, look at this. He yanks your face towards his. Oh my. I swear I could just kiss you right now. Oh my, I'm blushing a little bit. You stare at each other. For half a second, you almost think he will. A blush spreads across his face. Got him. Well, GG, we already won. We got the blush. After a moment, he lets you go. You stumble to regain your footing. Congrats. You, uh, <clears throat> you, uh, deserve it. I know I've been dragging my feet and acting like a total baby. Hey, I'm just glad you wrote it. You ready to do this again? Sure, if you help me. You know what? Actually, wait a sec. Before you can respond, he sprints out of the room. You stand there, rubbing your neck, lightheaded. You're still standing, mouth half open as he returns, clutching several beer bottles. He offers you one. Let's, uh, let's celebrate. Uh-oh, see, this is how you know things are gonna go down, because people can't be clear with their emotions, and they have to bring out the alcohol in order to, uh, lubricate their, uh, their emotions well enough to, uh, slide on through. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, partake of a beverage, because I'm rather parched, so we're gonna take one of those, uh, those alcohols. You clink your bottles and drink up. It's tough to focus on the next assignment. Brad's giddy and distracted, while his earlier wrestling hold has left you feeling heady and aroused. You don't know if it's the beer or your imagination, but he seems to be looking at you instead of his books. Ooh, oh my. Your eyes meet more than once. The third time it happens, you lose your train of thought and stare back at him. Your brain utter mush. Uh, you okay? His voice is low, quiet. You can hear yourself breathing. Yeah, can you can you just hold me down and shove my face in your armpit again? You clear your throat. Uh, no, I'm 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 totally fine. Uh, just a little bit out of it. Oh, me too. Maybe we could re we maybe we should reschedule this. He grins and stretches, offering you a glimpse of his abs and his belly button as he scratches a spot on his stomach. That's another way people. People try to captivate you. I've noticed this. I've noticed men consistently do this on purpose. Oh my god. When you're just hanging out and they want something from you. Um. Mm. Oh, hey. An email. Huh, looks like Daisy's sending me something again. So I'm gonna give you a heads up. Um. If you can't tell from the, uh, the nature of our previous conversations, especially about the B's and the J's, um, this is going to be getting a little bit more lewd here, so I'm going to have a annotation up in the top left corner below Super Swag's name around here that you can click on to skip past all this lewd text that's coming up. If you aren't a giant nerd or below the age of 18, uh, feel free to uh, click it, or uh, not click it, because I don't want you, uh, I don't want you being defiled. Anyway, another photo, huh? Brad hunches over his laptop and clicks. Not a photo, a link. She's got her own site, if you can believe it. It's got a video. We deserve a break, right? Oh my, stop, Brad. Don't look at me like that. He finishes his beer. You curious? I am. He clicks on something. A video starts to play on the screen. It appears to be Daisy, seated on the edge of a bed, smiling at the camera. She has her own cam site. Good for you, Daisy. Whoa, she's like practically naked. Practically. And now literally naked. The room becomes silent as she rolls on her back. With one hand, she grabs her breast, massaging it like a baker kneading wet dough. That's actually a pretty uh good illustration. Now I, now I understand exactly how she's doing it. 
She's throwing her boobies up in the air, catching them, putting them back down, rolling them with a with a rolling pin, and then just flopping them around everywhere. Okay, thank you, Super Swag. You sit there listening to her sighs. You cough awkwardly. Have I mentioned I'm homosexual today? Hang on, I'm grabbing an I'm gonna go grab another cold one. Brad bolts out of the room. You sit there, wondering if you should excuse yourself and go home. Your eyes idly wander over to his laptop screen. You see a small icon on in the corner. The label reads birthday suit dot jpeg. Huh, what's this? Uh so I am a good Christian and I'm gonna avoid clicking on this. Um because I don't want to invade his privacy and also because I don't want to have to edit the video to not show you what it is because it's not safe for work. So um if you are in the safety of your own home or perhaps a private venue, I recommend clicking on it to get a uh not safe for work picture of Brad. Otherwise, uh we're gonna go ahead and go ahead. <coughs> Let's not be a creeperino. Continue to obediently stay at, stare at the naked girl instead. Daisy stares at you in her state of suspended animation. You're persistent, I'll give you that. But he's not into you, so back off. Her lust-filled expression looks so corny. Super swag, don't you, don't you fucking start talking shit about Daisy. Oh my. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> Make me your what? Um, you hear Brad's voice as he enters the room. You let go of your chest in a panic. Oh, uh, nothing. Just looking at this naked woman and getting a, a gigantic erection. Brad resumes the video. Um, I'm gonna skip this because... Because <laughs> it's making me feel a little, a little bit awkward. Um, you decide to sneak a peek as, at Brad as inconspicuously as possible. You think you detect the formidable outline of a hard-on forming beneath his shorts. Whimper. Super swag, please. <laughs> Don't make those faces. He shoots you a glance. You're mortified as your eyes meet, but you can't look away. You stop breathing as his gaze wanders down your body, to the cock testing the strength of your pants zipper. What the fuck? Are you like Colossus or something? Is your penis made out of metal? Uh, hey... Daisy grabs a toy from the nightstand, which she begins to insert into her butt. Maybe it's a dildo, or it could be a, I don't know how to pronounce that word, egg. Uh, for all you know, being that your eyes are locked on each other now, neither of you paying attention to the video. This is how it always starts. See, okay, so this is a quick, quick lesson. What you don't do, or actually, alternatively, what you want to do, if... A man invites you to watch pornography for, with him. He wants to have sex with you. I guarantee you there is like a 99.959999% chance that that is what they want to do. You should still ask first because um, that's just what you do. It's, it's how you get permission so you can do things. But that is a that is a pretty tall tale tall tale sign that they are interested in you at least sexually anyway you glance at Brad's bulge again jesus did it just get bigger uh i'm going to go to the bathroom and take care of this i'll be right back that is really fucking awkward although i guess it's not really that awkward i just i don't know i just don't want to hear someone violently masturbating in the room next to me um, so, because I'm not showing the not safe for work scenes directly here, I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna make a separate video with these scenes and me commentating over them at a later time. They're all gonna be on the same video in the same place. Um, probably my Tumblr page, so I'll link that in the video description. So, we're gonna go for sure, go for it. Um, we're gonna let him do whatever he's gonna do in the bathroom. Brad gives you a glance before he disappears into his bathroom. The door slams shuts behind the door shuts behind him with a click. Your brain does cartwheels trying to figure out the meaning of his glance. You're rock hard. The thought of Brad beating off behind that door. You lower a hand immediately to your wing wang and adjust to relieve some of the pressure. Um, we're not gonna masturbate, um, in part because I don't wanna I don't want to damn myself to hell, so we're going to do nothing. 
taking a deep breath, you try to relax. Your boner, slowly, or your boner slowly deflates as you watch Daisy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoop de doo I've used bigger things to clean my ear. That's actually really funny. And after that, um, Brad emerges from the bathroom, sans boner. Uh, since we didn't get shit done today, let's go ahead and reschedule for tomorrow, okay? You manage a nod. You head downstairs on shaky legs. Now, this is odd, Johnson. Is it daylight savings already? Uh, daylight savings? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Then would you mind explaining why the fuck you're leaving early while you're on the clock? Oh, uh, we, we decided to take a break. Break? Are you trying to charge extra for these breaks? I don't remember authorizing this, Johnson. No, no charge. It's no big deal. We were scheduled for tomorrow. Everything regarding Brad needs to go through me. Did you forget? Um... So, there are several ways you can do this. And this de determines... I don't, I don't even remember what the fuck this determines. Um... It determines, I think, if Bo, Bo reconciles with you later, after something happens. Um, but I believe the correct answer is this. Actually, I'm going to gamble and say it's this one. There we go. So, Bo and I lost our father's year. Or, lost our father years ago. Oh. Uh oh, I feel like I'm about to get a, a lecture. Indeed. We lost him when we got separated at the state fair. Oh. Brad and I went to go get something to drink. Those carbon those carbonated juice things in the shape of a fruit with a crazy straw. You know the ones. Dad told us to be careful, said he'd be right there when we got back. Except when we returned, he wasn't. He was gone. We searched for him for six hours. Brad was crying. I tried to comfort him, telling him it would be alright. That daddy probably just went to the bathroom. Then eventually we found him. Turns out he had been playing the shoot the clown in the mouth with a water gun game. That is a very fun game, incidentally. Had a 14 game winning streak at that point. Brad and I both got the large top level prizes. But the point is, I knew I'd always need to be there for Brad if something terrible happened. That is a truly tragic backstory. Um, so, you have to play around, Bo. You can't tell him the truth, which is th the top one. If you tell him the truth, which is the most foolish thing you can do, um, he will not appreciate that, and he will get cranky at you. So you need to uh, sympathize with him. I guess you feel responsible if anything goes wrong with Brad's life. I'm the only one in this cesspit with his best interests in mind, so yes, that would be the case. Look, he's really making an effort, Bo. I mean, if anything, you could show him your support instead of constantly giving him shit. Support? Hmm, like what kind of support are we talking here? I don't know, I, I hear he likes cake. Hmm, you're right. Perhaps I've been too hard on him. Still keeping my eye on you, though, kid. Alright, so, just like that, that's going to be the end of this recording session. Um, I hope y'all liked the video. I'm sorry I kind of skipped over some some dialogue. I don't want to get too intimate with y'all, although I usually have no problem talking about sexual things. It just made me... I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Actually, I, the truth is, I recorded it like 50,000 times, and I just burst out laughing every time I did it, because it's just, the sex scenes are really silly in this game to me. So, in T-Way, I'll catch y'all later. Thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to like and comment. I'll try to get these videos out quicker. I'm using new recording software and some new stuff, um, so hopefully this will be higher quality than the previous videos. I'll see y'all later.